And again, to ask the uh, to to put this article up for the people, I thought to ask some women, what is their feedback? How do you invite other women to Islam? And this is some something I got uh, from people's opinion. One lady said, when I think of Islam, I think of a family. I think of safety, security, and well-being. Those are all things that I feel my face offers me. It would be nice to sit and write an entire article on things that make us feel all warm and fuzzy. But the reality of the world we live in is that there are things that can lead us into passes that are ain't the best for our interest. Probably one of the important things I've learned from my face is trust. I trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to choose what's the best for me. SubhanAllah. Trust in Allah that whatever He asks us to do is the best for us. And SubhanAllah, if we let ourselves uh, go surrender for the will of Allah, we'll notice that everything that happens to us is the best. And this always I remember in the ayah where the Al-Khidr and Musa, where Al-Khidr killed a young boy. And I've always struggled with this ayah. Killing, how could he kill a young boy? The parents are believers, and yet he killed a young boy. But if we look at where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, if this young boy, he would have grown up to be a kafir, and he would go to hell. And he would disturb his parents. But because he died as a boy, and could, uh, the deeds are not counted, he would go to al-Jannah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewarded his parents with another child that's good, and he will help them and strengthen their iman. It's good for everybody. But yes, in that moment, if you ask the two parents, they'll tell you this is the worst thing that could happen. And yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us in this story that Allah chooses the best for us. And we have to know that always put our trust in Allah that he should choose the best for us. Another quote a lady said about why she loves Islam. This is one of the reasons I love Islam. You see, Islam is not a list of do's and don'ts, which a lot of us try to make Islam do's and don'ts. It's not a, a simply a dogma to be followed or pre, uh, prescribed, sent to rules to govern, but rather a true love, a spirit that dwells inside the hearts of those who believe. It's a gift for all of us to be blessed with so much beauty that surrounds us, not only in nature, but in science and language and human kindness. And this is one important thing to realize about Islam. It is the love and love of Allah and love of everybody. This is Islam. As Muslims, we call everybody brothers and sisters. And in a way, I resent this because I don't see a brother should not treat his brothers badly. We give the words a bad meaning when we call somebody a brother and then our actions does not reflect on brotherhood. Brotherhood and sisterhood means we care, we sacrifice, we do. Subhanallah, this is Islam. And yet, when we, as we said, when somebody joins Islam, we give them a big list of do's and don'ts. A big list of uh, this is what you should do. Subhanallah. And Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for 13 years, all he tried to stress is la ilaha illallah. To make people understand Allah and be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because once you love Allah, it becomes easy to follow. You realize everything you do is for the sake of Allah and it's beneficial for you, for you do, so you do it. It's not a burden. It's out of care, careness. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Rasul, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We have only sent you as man, uh, mercy for mankind. This is what we have to reflect when we do da'wah, is mercy to mankind. 